Hello guys, thank you so much for joining in uh, to Mwalimu Anunda official channel. Na leo tunataka tuzungumzie kusu a different topic that is happening now. Of course what is trending now in Kenya is uh, students holiday, two months holiday. Teachers are on holiday. Uh, uh, teachers are on holiday, uh, students are on holiday. So parents are wondering nini ambacho unawezafanyia wanafunzi ambao wako nyumbani all through? Uh, ni holiday unashindwa ni nini ambacho unaweza uhusisha vijana wako ama vijana wako uh, during this holiday. So today we want to look at the activities that we can engage in um, uh, do, uh, engage students during this holiday. Nini ambacho unaweza uhusisha vijana wako kufanya wakati wa hii holiday. Na I'm privileged to be with an education educationist uh, Mr. George uh, is is here with me. He'll be sharing some of the activities that we'll be engaged in. So <clears throat> number one activity uh, my friends that you can engage your students in or your kids in is uh, let the students learn a new skill. Let the kids learn a new skill. Of course, uh, in the holiday, yes, uh, na kwa kawaida vijana wako shuleni sana. Apart from masomo ambayo wanapata shuleni, during this holiday, can you enable your kid to learn a new skill? Mtu rejuliza a new skill ni kama gani? Even cooking is a new skill. Can you train your kid even to cook chipo, chapati? <laughs> and of course, we know that students, some, some kids don't know how to cook chapo. Uh, kupika mayai ya watu wawili yeah <laughs> that is a new skill even driving yeah? even swimming at least let that student learn a new skill akirudi january aseme during the holiday i learned on how to type i learned on how to drive i learned on how to swim i learned on how to cook so that is one let my friend add something on, on another activity. Let me add. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think another point I can add is also associating those learners into projects or what you are calling the activities. You find a project where they can be doing. For those who are staying in rural areas, there are so many projects we were doing when we were young. For example, I remember when I was, we were young, you were being told you will be the one who is responsible by doing so and so, maybe taking care of uh, kettles or any other activity. Even in urban areas, there are so many activities, maybe cleaning. If it is young uh, students like, or young kids, you can give them crafting projects. We can, uh, you can uh, buy plastic scenes for them to be modeling something so that you engage them. So that they are able to channel that extra energy associated with the new holiday into that particular project. By doing so, you'll avoid so many things that may come up with the new holiday. You are excited. The kid is excited. You want to go out, chill with friends. And then when he, he or she is uh, chilling with friends, that's when they indulge themselves into uh, bad behaviors. Thank you. I think you can add another point. So thank you, George. That is a good point. Uh, I will add another activity that you can engage your kids as a uh, let because they are still students. You can engage your students in a tuition. I know the government of Kenya uh, but as a parent, as an a guardian, that is your kid. Yeah. Niko nasikiza muhubiri mwingine kutoka Tanzania akisema kama uwezi uwezi funza mtoto atakuja kukufunza. Na anakufunza vipi? Vip. Utakuwa unanunua TV anakuja naiba. So anakufunza vile unahitaji una, kufungia TV yako. So as a parent you can have a tuition. You can have somebody who is who is supervising the reading of that kid. Kwa mfano mwenye ameenda form 3 na mwenye ameenda form 4 class 7 and 8 of course education is the key in this country mm -hmm. so another thing that you can engage you can have an a, 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 your kid being engaged in a tuition akisoma ako engaged so huyu mwenye atakuwa anamfunza atakuwa anampea assignment atakuwa anampea homework and atakuwa na follow up so the mind of that kid will be engaged and that one will help other than umwachilia tu hivyo 
Hey, wajua vijana wa siku hizi ni ngumu sana wajisomee wao wenyewe. Huo ni ukweli. Lazima wasukume. Eh, kwa hivyo lazima umsukume na unaweza mtafutia mwalimu fulani ili endelee kumsukuma. Na hiyo inaweza msaidia sana. Yeah, thank you so much. I think another activity that I would uh, encourage parents also to do to their uh, kids is also encourage them to watch documentaries educative documentaries and always good to check on what they are watching because nowadays there are so many uh, funny funny uh, movies or series that are making our young generation to behave abnormally so meaning ngaomba kama mzazi encourage go buy those documentaries there are so many documentaries based on history based on religion jo nazo nyumbani pea mtoto wako aone huko beleni kulikuaje huko nyuma kulikuwa vipi so that you know mtoto akiona anapanuka akili na akili kipanuka kuna ile tunasema creative thinking yeah na unajua watching these documentaries also inafungua mtoto anaona hii so nikiwa kama fulani hapo usoni maisha yangu ya usoni nataka ku copy a certain person because you know we have politicians we have doctors we have engineers in our houses but we don't now you know whether you are come toto at kila time unataka afanye active no Let, when he is relaxing i watch a certain documentary a certain movie i muonyeshe a certain character mwenye atasema eh nikiwa na hii miaka ningetamani niwe daktari kama fulani because there are so many like i know there are so many documentaries so many series based on scientists when they watch those things i think it will expand their mind even the way of thinking yeah i think by those I think you can also add another point. Thank you so much for that. Uh uh on movies also don't ensure that they don't watch movies at night <laughs> the whole night. Eh? Yeah. So I want to add another point uh, that uh, the students or the or students can be engaged in uh, positive social activities. Yeah. Social positive activities like uh, volunteerism they can volunteer in doing something for example cleaning a, uh, a town uh, cleaning a mta eh? there's some activities for example also going to uh, church choir i think that one is a, a good social activity uh, bible study some social activities zenye zenye ziko very positive avoid negative activities zenye zineza uh, arabia mtoto uh, uh, yake so those are those are those are the activities that we can be engaged in uh, i want to conclude by saying that for those parents wenye wanachukua mtoto alafu vile amefunga tu hivi hata george utanisaidia hapo ku ku kuongeje hii story amefunga shule tu alafu anambeba anampeleka kule ushago anamwachia uh, yule babu ama yule nyanya anamwacha huko What is what's your comment on that? Uh, I think hiyo ni kitu ni makosa kubwa sana wazazi wangu wanafanya because the moment umnaenda umepeleka watoto umepelekea wale wazazi. Kubuka yule mzazi si mzazi yu, yu, uh, wake yule mtoto. Na kama unajua bibi na nikisema bibi na tumaini unaelewa ni grandmother. Uh, bibi yako hata ukienda uonge uh, na bibi yako your grandmom will always tedekeza you hata chukulia kama katoto hawezi kuchuna yes. so the only thing she will do is she will now tedekeza you wewe ni kama yai yeah. ukiitisha hii anataka kukupea ona hashughuliki ni watoto wa gani ama wa aina gani wewe huyo mtoto wako ana associate na wao huko nje yes. unajua huko ni nyumbani yes. Yes. na wale watoto unapata wenye ana associate nao 
kuna hawa na tabia nyingine kubuka wakati wetu kwa hapo nyuma tuliko dongo ya watoto wetu wenye wanatoka Nairobi binamu zetu yes. unangoja maikazi na kuja akija zile matendo mtafanya ni tofauti na venye wazazi wao wanategemea watoto wao watoto wao wanafanya uko kwa mama zao yes. huanga ni makosa kubwa sana isipokuwa tu ni ile kuna unajua kuna mzazi mwingine kama tuseme dadako ama bibi ya mke wa dugu yako yuko huko mwenye anaweza kuwa anachunga watoto wako pia akichunga wake hiyo inasaidi inasaidia lakini kama ni bibi tu na babu wako pale pale wale watoto watarudi wakiwa na maisha ya yani ivenye watarudi huko kwako watarudi wakiwa watoto wa aina tofauti so mimi i would discourage that wanga ni kitu baya sana lakini pia i know ivenye maisha hali ya maisha siku hizi unajua siku hizi watu wanasema ah unajua nikiachilia watoto waende kwa bibi yao huko nyumbani hakuna zile expenses zimeniondokea kidogo yeah. because maisha ya kule nyumbani si ngusingumu sana kama hapa town mm-hmm. so unapata eh hey, yule ni kama ni kama mzigo yes. lakini ndio unasemanga ujue wewe ulisherekea ukipata huyo mtoto mm-hmm. usishukirie yule ni mzigo wako mm-hmm. ile ni baraka, baraka yes. so fai kumtupa yeah. unafaa kukaa naye eh, ndio ujue mtoto wako ana aina gani ana kasirisho na nini nini inamtendekea huko shuleni nini inamsubua ya maisha nini inamuogofia yeah. nini inamfurahisha nini ana malengo gani ya maisha yake hapo usoni mm-hmm. so i think uh, as a parent tunafaa tuangalie hiyo maneno because holiday is for the kids yes. yeah i think atumaini wazazi wakiwa hapo nyumbani mm-hmm. juu mnasikiza mtafanya vinye tunaelezea these are strategies that you can use mm-hmm. also ni vizuri kuwa na plan mm-hmm. ya holiday yako yeah. have a very good plan how will i engage my kids mm-hmm. during this holiday like what you are so- talking about the project kuwa na hiyo plan a holiday plan a full holiday plan yeah. because a long holiday unajua tunarudi 23rd january yes, so we have almost two months yeah. Staying with these kids. We, these parents are working. Wengi hata umesahau wanaachua wafanye kazi. Zile matendo siku hizi na venye maisha iko. <laughs> Unapata wale watoi wanapotozwa na wale mayaya. Yeah, I think tunafaa tuchunge hawa watoto wetu. Thank you so much. I don't want to add anything. But I want to thank I want to thank George for coming in to Malmanundo Visual Channel. Thank you so much. Next time when I'm, I'm call you I will also uh, I'm very sure you will come in. Thank you so much guys. Continue liking, subscribing and also sharing. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, Hope. Hope. Hapa ilizima. Tutaona hiyo haikuzima. Ndio ndio ndio